When you are running and growing a business, you do not have the luxury of taking a day off. Not talking about Saturdays, not talking about Sundays. I'm talking about every day that you're in your office, every day that is a work day. You do not have the luxury of taking that time off. You have to show up every single day. And the question is, are you being as intentional with your time as you need to be? Or are you just going through the motions? We entrepreneurs typically by ourselves take on all the risk. We spend time, we spend money, we do all of these things just to get ourselves a job. Most people are just going through the motions. They show up, they come in at nine every day, they come in at eight every day, they leave at five or six every day, they take their lunch. We're not actually on the path to growth because we don't show up with the intensity or the intention of building the thing that we wanna build. When we're feeling challenged, our back's against the wall, of course we'll puff our chest up and we'll say that we're doing all of these great things. But we know, we know that we're not actually doing the things that we need to do. Professional writers know that to be a writer, you need to show up every day in front of your laptop and you need to write, whether you know what to write or not. Professional writers sit down and write. I was listening to a Rob Bell podcast and he said that he wrote for an entire month and took the document and hit delete. Wasn't good enough, but he showed up every single day. I'm coming back from Tony Robbins and I'm sitting beside someone who I noticed was there because she had one of these things on. I said, oh, you're a Tony Robbins, what do you do? And she said, she's a writer. I said, oh, what did you hope to get out of this? She said, I'm a writer who doesn't spend any time writing. You know, I'm a mom, uh, I have, you know, I have a household and I like staying up late and I hate getting up early. So I never have time to write. Is she a writer? Right, is she showing up? Is she doing the things that she has to do? You know, Steve told me the story from someone that used to work with, he used to say that if you run a shop, you have to show up every single day. You have to open up, you have to be present, you have to be ready to serve customers whether they show up or not. You have to show up whether the work is there or not. You have to be open for those opportunities, whether they're there or not. You have to be there whether the customers are there or not. What are the things that you have to do, whether you're feeling great, whether you're feeling inspired, whether you're feeling bold or not? In your business, what do you have to do? For me, I have to hustle every single day. I am responsible for running a multi-million dollar agency, and if I'm not consistently focusing on relationships and on clients, and on having more people know about what we can do. And if I don't focus on sales, guess what? We will not be a multi-million dollar agency. We will shrink and go bankrupt. And so when I took on more and more sales, I used to have salespeople and I let them go and I became the only salesperson. What I told myself every single day when I came in is every day I'm hustling. And I would, before I left at the end of the day, I would say, did I do something today to hustle? And the hustle to me is reaching out to someone, booking a lunch, making a phone call, saying hi to someone I haven't spoken to in a while, writing a contract, getting a lead in, opening up an opportunity. Why don't you do this more? That's the question. Why are you getting distracted? Why aren't you committed? Why aren't you showing up every single day? One, you're not in love with what you're doing. If you don't like what you're doing and you're just grinding to get through it and you're not in love with it, of course, you're not gonna show up every day with the drive and the grit and everything that you need to do to push through all the hard things. Do you love what you do? Second, are you committed to the cause? You can call this purpose, you can call this whatever you want. Are you on the road to something bigger or greater than what you've been doing in the past? Are you growing? Are you challenging yourself? You know that this is something that you have to do. Third, are you celebrating the wins? Are you taking the time to just stop and say, this is pretty cool that this happened? You know, the writer who completes a chapter, whether it's good or not, did you stop to celebrate the win? You know, for me in my business, getting that new campaign or signing that new client is a win. Of course those are wins, but what about the little wins? What about the things that remind us that we have momentum, that we're going the right direction? And so in this, you cannot lose hope. You have to show up every day. You have to continue to push. You have to tie it back to your mission. And I'll leave you with this one last thing. This comedian once said that the advice he was given when he was coming up in comedy, when he was not really making progress and not really getting anywhere was to stay in line. Stay in line. The older comedian told the younger comedian, if you wanna be a comedian, then you go out and you hustle and you show up every day and you do what you do and you stay in line. But you start to lose hope 
You decide you don't want to be a comedian, you want to be an actor. You don't want to be a comedian, you want to take three years off and become a stay-at-home dad. You don't want to be a comedian, you want to do something else, start a business or whatever it is. That's you stepping out of line. And then a few years go by and you decide, I want to be a comedian again. Guess what? You need to go back to the back of the line. And you need to start at the beginning. But if you stay in line, eventually you will get to the front of the line. And that might take three years, it might take 10 years, it might take 30 years. But if you stay in line, and this guy was a comedian, so if he's a comedian and he stays in line, eventually his time will come and he will be at the front of that line. And it's his turn, it's his turn to shine. And so no matter what business you're in and no matter what you're growing, I want you to stay in line. Don't get distracted, don't go off and do all these other things. I'm 13 years into building Fanta as an agency. I probably have another 10 years to go to get to where I wanna be, to the level I wanna be operating at. But guess what, if I got distracted and I said, Fanta's not an agency, we're also a this and we're also a this and we're also this, I'm stepping out of line. And then when I decide, no, we're gonna go back to our roots, we're gonna go back to where we started, guess what, I'm way at the back. Stay in line and show up every day and your time will come. I'm Mark. Welcome to my office. <laughs> if growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops. Am I muted? Can you hear me?